Thank you guys for tuning in to the Buffalo Fanatics. If you guys love the content and the energy that we bring, don't be shy. Come back. There's more where that came from. Furthermore, if you guys want to become part of the Bing team, it's simple. One step, www.jointhefanatics.com. Oh, this whole thing? Oh, yeah. We also have the merch. If y'all are looking for that Buffalo vs. everybody, etc., bffanshop.com. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to bring you a banger. And I'm not gonna waste any more time. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what time it is. It's the Bills Steelers Sunday Night Football. I, I can't, if you're not hyped for this, I can't get you more hype. Y'all already know what it is and what time it is. It's time to get crunk. It's time to represent. Oh, you damn right. We have to go into Pittsburgh and represent. Because this is a huge game. I listen, man. Huge game. Are we the underdogs? Are we the underdogs? Of course we are. They keep not believing in the Bills. It's true. We give them a little hope, and then they pull back and say, uh, eh, we ain't about that, right? Let's go back. Broncos. We weren't really favored in that game. Oh, the Broncos are going to bring it. They got the number five or six defense at this, that, and the third. We took care of business, right? Who do we got? We go against Dallas Cowboys. Oh, they can't go up against that offense. That offense is number one in the league, 400-plus yards a game and 30 points. We took care of business, right? Now we go against a tough Baltimore team. We hang with them. We hang with them, but we take that L. But we know we can play. We know we can play, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Now, here we are against the damn Steelers, AFC North, the, the bruising AFC North. You know what I mean? Everybody comes out of that damn division battered and bruised. That being said, how do we take advantage of this game? What mistakes must we avoid? Let's get right to the elephant in the room, Joshua Patrick Allen. Last week, you looked like poo-poo, doo-doo, buns, all of that, and everything in between. Now, the beautiful thing about the NFL is every week can erase the last week. You come in and do well, they don't even talk about the Ravens game. You remember what you did against Dallas? Oh, yeah, they were, they were talked about, they talked about you. But then you went into the Ravens game and did what you did. Now, nobody's believing you again. I know you said we're all dialed in, but y'all got to prove it this Sunday. I ain't playing with you, son. <laughs> we need this win. We win and we are in. Do not remind me back in the day, 2004, I believe, when we lost to the damn backups of the Steelers. Tommy Maddox, Fast Willie Parker. Listen, we're not trying to have those memories again. We got to go in there and handle business. But Josh Allen, the jig is up. They know they're coming after you. The Ravens exposed you a little bit. They did. You got to keep it a buck. They blitzed you, and they blitzed you, and you were frazzled. Now, this game has massive implications. We're going up against an 8-5 and five hot Steelers team on a three-game win streak. They win this game. This sets us back. Oh, does it ever set us back? Because then we go against the damn Patriots. These three next games are crucial, but we've got to take care of the Steelers. But how? Number one, coaching. Oh, by the way, Mike Tomlin, head coach Sean McDermott, they were once teammates. Oh, yes, William and Mary. How interesting is that? So these two men know exactly who each other are, right? So we have to come on top. It's going to be a chess match between these two because each guy knows that they've got a young quarterback that they've got to defend. The edge goes to Allen. The first round pick, big boy, can run, dual threat. But you've got to bring more to the table, Allen. We need you. Them deep balls, you got to hit them. We hit one or two of those deep balls in the Ravens game, the whole landscape of the game changes. We can't miss those opportunities this game. We can't. We know we're going up against a good defense. 
And speaking of this defense, this defense is number one in sacks. They're going to bring the pressure. So that means you've got to get rid of the ball quick. Josh Allen, we're depending on you. Josh Allen versus the Pittsburgh Steelers Blitz. Blitzburg. We can't have what we had last week. All right. Key number two. We cannot drop the pass. We can't drop these balls. Fun fact. We are the second worst team in catching the ball. That means we drop the ball too many damn times. You know what? You know who leads the league in drops? The Bears. With 21 damn drops this year. Guess where the Bills are at? 20. 20 drop passes this year. You want to win games? You want to go to the Super Bowl? You can't let your quarterback down by dropping the balls. Especially when sometimes you can be erratic. But when he wants to make plays, he does. But when he does, you got to be there to be on the receiving end of the balls. Dawson Knox. Catch the ball. Cole Beasley. Sideline. Catch the ball. John Brown. Everybody. Catch the ball. That's your job. Help your quarterback out. He gets all the flack. But when he puts it on the money, you've got to help him out. Catch the damn ball. Because if we don't do this against a team like this, that's number one in takeaways with 33. Number one in sacks. That's going to bring the pressure. The ball's going to be coming out hot. Joe Hayden, Minka Fitzpatrick, Terrell. Listen, the whole crew is going to be waiting there. They want picks. They want to force the ball out. You got to catch it. None of this tip ball bullshit. Catch the ball. Number three, let's establish the damn run. I know I say this every week. I know I say this every damn week, but let's establish the run and not stop. The Ravens were supposed to scare us and not run the ball. We nearly had 100 yards by our damn rookie in Devin Singletary. Oh, here's a good stat for you. Since week nine, Devin Singletary, 470 yards rushing. The man nearly rushes for five yards a damn carry. Get him involved in the game. I'm not going to touch on that anymore. Y'all know what it is. Here's another one. O-line. I'm talking to Mitch Morse, Cody Ford, Ty and Seke, I'm talking to the whole crew, Deion Dawkins, Spain, everybody. This is the game that you've got to prove that you can hold on and hold your water. The blitz is coming. Mitch Morse, you got a young quarterback back there. We brought you in for a reason. We paid you all that money for a reason. Guide that young buck. Hey, watch out for this. Watch out for that. He may not see what you see. You're the vet. We need you. Because they're coming. The blitz is coming. I can't stress that enough, people. O-line needs to have the game of their damn lives. And this is a taste. This is the beginning to better things going. You start this game by keeping your guy clean and letting him know what's coming. We have the advantage. We got the best center in the game. Prove it. So here's the deal. I'm not going to stay any longer on this, man. How do we win this game? Who do we watch out for? Here's the deal. Bud Dupree, TJ Watt, Cam Hayward. Three dogs on that defense. Oh, they're going to bring it. This is why we need the Mitch Morses. We need the Spains. We need the Felicianos. We need y'all to hold your water and keep your guy clean because they're coming for you. Joe Hayden is waiting. Minka Fitzpatrick is waiting. That boy is ball hawking. They have him just free birding. He's like Troy Palomalu. We can't let them get hot. We have only lost one game on the road. Let's bring that road warrior mentality. Ooh, what a rush. If y'all know what I'm talking about, let's bring it to the damn Steelers. Don't, get, don't let me get hyped right now. Last but not least, I'm not going to stay too long on this. We talked on Josh Allen. We talked on the run game. We got to talk on that defense. Defense, do what you do. We got a young quarterback in Bucky Hodges. Excuse me, Duck Hodges. Let's treat him like an undrafted quarterback. He's going to be dumping the ball off. Because James Conner has a lot of receptions. He's going to be getting rid of the ball very quickly. So we've got to take advantage of that. He's starting to get momentum now. He's completing 71% of his passes. So that tells me he's making the right decisions. 
and he's getting rid of the ball quickly and he's putting his players in the best position oh by the way schuster's coming back so defense get it going early we want that ball back and want every damn opportunity to put the steelers away you guys set the tone give us the ball back we gotta do what we gotta do but it starts with the defense ladies and gentlemen there's not much that needs to be said. We're going up against a top 10 defense in all categories. They're going up against a top 10 defense. It's going to be a defensive matchup. Ain't no 30-point game going today. So, less mistakes. Points on the board wins the game. But the key thing is our guy, Allen. He needs to show what he learned from last game and apply it to this game. Because they're going to be relentless coming after you. So, Hoggies, get it together. Devin Singletary, bring it. John Brown, smoke. They don't want that smoke. Bring it to them. We got this. We need this. Bills Mafia, we need this. Buffalo Fanatics, we need this. JA, number 17. We riding with you, man. We need this W. It's the Bills. It's the Steelers. If you guys like this video, you guys feeling hype, click that like, smash that damn subscribe button, get your comments in the comment section. I want to see it all. I want to read it all. We'll see you Sunday night. And until next time, it's your boy. And I'm gone.